This is the Santa Margareta from Italy, the Rosé 2021. Most of you guys know this wine, or this winery I should say, if you've had their Pinot Grigio, the Santa Margareta. <laughs> I think I'm saying it right, probably not. I mean, we all say it, you know, Santa Margarita, because that's, you know, we're lazy. And I get it. <laughs> so am I a little bit, at times. So this is a rosé that they've been making for a few years now, and I still haven't tried it. Yeah, guys, I don't try everything, okay? That'd be impossible. That will never happen. <laughs> but since it's been hot, and happy Easter, by the way, it's um, been 80 degrees out here today in California. So when it's hot, you got to break out those rosés, right? So, okay, I gotta smell the cord for the dramatics. So Santa Margareta, um, cool thing about them, or kind of cool blend that they put in this, which I've never heard of in a rosé. They're using Chardonnay, a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc, and Pinot Nero. Pinot Nero is basically Pinot Noir in Italy. And I think it's pretty cool. Because most rosés, you know, you can make rosés on anything, guys, just so you know. You can make it out of Pinot Noir, Syrah, Mavedre, Cinsa, um, shoot, Mer I mean, you could do it, honestly, with anything. Seriously, you really can. Um, I'm gearing towards the Pinot Noir rosés lately. If you, guys, if you guys saw my last review on the OTT from Vandal, France, my goodness, that one's so out of control. All right. So off that nose... Getting some strawberries in there. Hmm. Definitely getting that grapefruit. Pretty cool. And of course your lemons. Now this is pretty low alcohol. I believe it's uh, 12, 12, 6, 12, 5. So that's really low for rosé, which I like too. And this is going to run you around $23 to $25, depending where. And they, they pretty much have this everywhere now, guys. All over the United States. And I'm in California, you could find this anywhere. All right, let's taste this. Okay, very light. How was that? Mm -hmm. Very, very light. Mm. I I've never had a rosé like that before. I mean, definitely a crowd pleaser. Anybody's gonna drink this and love it. I mean, a little expensive for what it is, but you are getting the Chardonnay, Pinot Nero, and Sauvignon Blanc in this. I mean, this would go beautifully with any kind of like tuna salad, um, any kind of salad with some fish, some shellfish, like some shrimps, like a shrimp Caesar would be delicious with this actually. Um, wow, any salmon would be nice, chicken, pork. I mean, does anything light. By itself, it's just a very nice, easy drinking wine. All right, Santa Margareta. Nice job. I mean, it is a little pricey, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, there are other wines, of, you know, you guys are going to make some comments, but there are other rosés for the price point you can find better for like around 15 to 20, of course. Because uh -huh, with tax, it's going to run around 27. But it's good. It's light. It's delicious. Um, very weird for a rosé. You definitely get that Sauvignon Blanc tartness in it, that lemon grapefruit, which I love that. I love that citrus. All right, guys, remember to like, subscribe. I'm Tony Del Sol, and relax. It's just wine.